Right, anybody ever have this problem? The old steering wheel, see how much of this I can do with my pocket knife, right? <clears throat> the old horn button does this and comes loose. And what happens is your screws strip out. So, I'm gonna show you how to fix that real quick. Don't throw away your steering wheel. Don't ever throw anything away when it comes to old cars. Try and save whatever you can. So disconnect the horn so I'm not listening, you don't hear that. Take all these screws out real quick. I'll do that real quick, I'll bring you guys right back in. So you make sure you got all the hardware correct. You need to have these little screws, this horn ring thing, these little plastic things here. Uh, they all need to be there. So these little guys here, looks like that, okay? And these things keep the, anyway, so you got all your hardware. Remove the uh, springs out of the way. Set them down here, nice safe place. Then, you get yourself one of these kits here, I'll show you. Oh, I was looking for one of these and I found it on Amazon. I'll see if I'll put the link on there. The size is 3.5 millimeter, 0.6 threads. I was just double checking that. I thought that's what it was, but I wasn't sure. And it comes with a little kit, a little handy dandy kit like this. You got a little insert tool for your uh, heliocoil. And you've got, what the hell is this thing? I don't know. Oh, that's the little thing to break off the pin. You may or may not need to do that. It's up to you. Comes with a tap. And this was uh, in a drill. So it's got everything you need. So you're gonna, we're going to put a helical insert in the steering wheel. And that will give it a stronger threads. These are actually, you know, what's, what happens is they're aluminum threads that are in there and uh, the aluminum threads you know just aren't that strong and these are stainless steel these little inserts are so let's do one see what happens well hopefully you guys can see okay I'm gonna drill a hole grab my drill bit here Gonna drill them out. I was gonna do all three of them. It's an old steering wheel. I don't remember which one was the worst. Drill them all out. I don't think you should drill all the way through. I'm not sure about that one. I've never done that. But a little careful might be help, helpful. And then we're going to tap it. Fortunately, I don't think this is a bottoming tap. So let's hope it works. Run your tap in. I just do a little bit, turn it, quarter turn, and bring it back and forth until it goes all the way in. All right, back in the driver's seat. Let's take a look. I'm going to use these vice grips. Not really the right tool, but it looks like it would work the best with the area we've got here. So I'm going to tighten this up a little bit here. Just nice and tight. There we go. Make sure you put it in straight. Don't you be too wobbly handed like me. Kind of turn it back and forth a little bit.
wobbly handed like me, it won't help much. Back and forth a little bit. Looks like I got it all the way in. Back it out. It's pretty tricky with these threads being this small. It's got to be really careful. Yeah, I don't drink coffee that day. Drank my coffee and uh, got a little too jittery. Had some of the uh, cappuccino. Oh, I'm just kidding. Get blow that out. See that little thing there? This little tool comes with it. And it's got a little. Well, that one's gone. Down in the rocks. It's history. If you can see that, it's got a little thing in there. You stick this tool inside here like that and it holds it. Let's put it in. Hopefully it goes in far enough. Some guys use red Loctite on these too. I A little afraid of that. Bring you guys back in, in a second. All right, let's try it again. Got one in. I'm dropping them everywhere now. Let's see. Yeah, number two. It goes in. A little easier than number one. Just a little springlingling. Like that one went in. I'll be honking my horn like a professional. Yeah, when I was doing that, we did a social distancing, <laughs> uh, you know, like support drive for all the essential workers that. been taking care of everybody we by the hospitals and the grocery stores and all that stuff we were all honking our horns and then mine got stuck <laughs> me <laughs> so let's see here's the magic I'm gonna put it back together and see if it works God I hope it does all right, I thought my horn was not working. Beep, beep. Had to have the motor running, you know, these old six volt cars. Beep, beep. It's all fixed. Beep, beep. Well, kind of. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> it's six volt. <laughs> That's the way they work when they're six volt. Beep, beep. Sometimes. Anyway, got it all back on. Got the uh, stuff on there. All the strip screws are all fixed. I'll talk to you in the next one. That's how you do it uh, if you want to do your own. I'll uh, take a look at that link in the video and maybe that'll help you find the, the what you need. It's three and a half millimeter uh, screws or uh, what are they called? Three and a half millimeter helio coils. So.